Chocoshake? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> What's wrong, Shoko? Something upsetting you? Kiryu-san. Uh, oh! Kiryu-san! I took your advice, you know. I entered my manga into that contest for best new artist. Oh, so you finished it, huh? When do you expect to hear back? Right, so... Actually, the magazine is announcing the results in the issue that hits stands today. Mm. Wow, that was quick. If that's the case, why are you sitting here? You go find out if you won. Because I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Kiryu-san, if you have the time, would you mind accompanying me to the bookstore? I'd feel so much better having you there. Shoko clearly needs some support right now. Can we get a rate check? <laughs> I have some free time. Sure. The way her hands are jittering, I wonder if you could even hold the magazine. <laughs> I'm sorry, this must seem ridiculous. Don't worry about it. Shall we get going? Yes, let's. Jump cut. Shoko sticks in my brain the word. There was the sh there was the Shako or Shako or whatever in uh, old Diablo two. It's been changed a lot since then, I think. But that was like a kind of important item in the economy, I think. But uh, I'll always remember high school, my first year of German class. Uh, on the final day. The teacher just went around the class and asked everyone just a random question one by one. Just kept asking different people questions. And they were, they were really simple things, like V Gates and other shit like that. Uh, but the most amazing response interaction that happened was uh, there was this one kid that was just not getting it, I guess. And it was last year. And it was weird because it was a question we learned on the first day of the class, and he still didn't seem to get it. So it was like, <laughs> it said, V Gates. And he said, Shoko shake and so now Shoko's just built in, just in my brain forever because That it's just the weirdest exchange mistranslation problem where the conversation basically was How are you chocolate shake? I'm like, okay And, I, and so there's that's just in the back of my head every time Shoko comes up now Well at least he, she's got the magazine Never seen Shoko this flustered You okay? If you want me to, I can look for you. N no I'm fine. I can do it. So this is her arc. She started off as somebody that was completely... emotionless and uninvested and android-like. That was her character, and now she's putting herself out there and doing a really personal thing by making her own manga and then putting it in a contest for scrutiny. And now she's about to see her the response to that. And? I didn't win. Ah, I see. What did I expect, though, right? It's only the first time I've ever tried. I did get my hopes up, though. Sometimes that's just how things shake out. Your next attempt will be even better, I'm sure. Yeah. That's a good way of looking at it. Oh! Sorry, Kiryu-san. I'm getting a call from an unknown number. Hello? Yes, this is her. Oh, I see. What? E e yes I can come now. I'm on my way. Thank you. What was that about? M my manga still has a chance. What do you mean? Apparently, there's a Best New Artist Award and a Judge's Choice Award, and my manga is still in the running for that one. But they want to talk to me in person, so I need to head over to the publisher's offices. Um, since Forshine isn't open yet, do you think it'd be okay if I went? Uh. Yeah, no problem. Shall I come with you? You- you do that? Thank you so much. Of course. Let's go see this through. Oh no, don't make her f success or failure be based on my interactions. I don't want that pressure right now. It's her dream. Not really her dream. She didn't even think about publishing it. 
but it's very personal to her. Hello, I'm Shoko. You called me earlier? Ah, uh, Shoko-san. Nice to meet you. I'm Sakiyama, the lead editor at this publisher. N nice to meet you, too. And this is? There's someone watching out for Shoko. Forget I'm here. Uh, uh, very well. She brought muscle? <laughs> Well, I owe you a bit of an explanation, so please step inside. Saying somebody looking out for Shoko is way weirder than just saying a friend, by the way. I must say, Shoko-san, you're hardly the person I expected you to be. You had such great jokes in your manga, I thought you'd be one of those jokester types. He doesn't show it, but I guess Shoko really understands humor. Anyway, once again, thank you for your submission to the Best New Artist Contest. Even though you didn't win that, your work was so good we're considering it for the Judge's Choice and Award instead. I'm confused. Who picks the Best New Artist Award if not the Judges? Isn't the Judge's Choice Award just the original award? Or is it a public vote? In which case, everybody's seen the manga in huge numbers now? Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, it could have been a magazine vote, but then how fast did these magazines come out? But the trouble is, we have an incredible crop of entries this year, making it very difficult to decide. Why not give it to everyone, then? <laughs> Cure you. That would be great, but... We only have so many pages in our magazine. Instead, I'd like to raise the bar with an additional challenge. Whoever wins this one will win the award. A challenge, sir? Yes, I'd like you to submit a new piece. One that depicts the thing that you value the most. Something I value? Something important! That is, that's like a parody title of, of sub-stories. The idea that the title of the sub-story itself is just something important. And the deadline is by the end of today. Holy shit. Today? Yes. It's intentionally tight. We want to see how much soul each artist can bear under pressure. I look forward to seeing your work, Shoko-sensei. Well, Kiryu, I think you're gonna have to give her the day off. Do all publishers make such unreasonable demands of their artists? This is a rough world. Uh, from what I've heard of Mangaka, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure it's not like this all the time. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think they just want to see if we have the same level of talent when the clock's ticking. I see. But I'm stumped. I need to draw what's most valuable to me. Something Shoko would value. Let's see. Oh no. I mean, we've never heard her mention a pet at all. And saying Kiryu is kind of a weird line. But like, even though she probably does value Kiryu, because Kiryu is the one that she, uh... That brought out the smile and everything, and taught them everything. It's just a really weird thing to say, what about me? But the Force Shine is where she found herself again, which is basically an analog, an indirect say way of saying a Kiryu. Considering where she's at right now, this sounds perfect. Shoko, why don't you head back to Force Shine for a bit? Oh no, is it that time already? No, there's plenty of time. But I feel like that's where you'll find your answer. Maybe you're right. I like that this, this Force Shine has just become this magical place that solves everybody's problems and stuff like that. All these, uh, all these poor girls that just need to need a calling in life, even though the calling is just doing the job they were already doing, uh, and all of their all their struggles are solved here one by one. Ah! 
<laughs> They're dead. They're both dead. Sorry, Kanachan. Did I hurt you? I'm fine, but seriously, how did you trip over your own two feet? Hey, would you could can you two stop kicking up dust? You'll spoil the cake. Sorry. But what's the cake for, Yuki-san? Oh, it's it's one of our regulars' birthdays today. And since he's celebrating it with us, I thought we'd make it special. Wow, talk about quality service. <laughs> yep. Uh, Yuki-san, you know this says salt, not sugar, right? You didn't use this, did you? Wait, what? Ooh, cake for us? Nice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Why is it so salty? Yep, you use the salt. Salty or not, it's baked with lots of love. Too bad it tastes like hatred. Well, there's nothing for it. I'll just have to make it again. I can't serve something that'll clog our regular's arteries after all. I don't think this is wise. What about my arteries? Kuyuki-chan, Kana-chan, Aika-chan, this is not- This time is not on my side. I need you all in the kitchen, please. Oh man. Just another day at Four Shine. She's like, <laughs> she's framing the picture. Uh, well that worked, that worked out perfectly, I guess. She's not framing them very well though, <laughs> from that perspective. She seems to be struggling. Did they just reuse this image, this animation from one of the photographer qu uh, quest lines? What I value the most. Got it. Somewhere I feel like I can be myself. Hmm. So I've seen. I immediately liked the quest lines with these characters more when they became quests again. Might be because I'm not just awkwardly staring at a character that's just talking while never bl like blinking once every two minutes. Instead, like, we're like, look, people have a, a little drama and a little thing they're trying to do, and it, and it brings up... Like, this, the conversations did set these up, but immediately I'm more engaged the moment we're back to doing the way, the normal storytelling that they're good at in these games, and not the very long date conversation, which technically sets it up, but is a whole lot of... I don't know, it feels like it's, it's just paced differently. There. That looks great, Shoko. I feel great draw- I felt great drawing it, too. I know I'm somewhere I can be myself, where I'm accepted for who I am, and among friends who care. That's what Forshine is to me. I had a hunch coming here might work. If it's okay with you, I'll go turn this in. Of course. Don't pull a Kayuki and trip on the way. Haha, <laughs> I won't. Who knew going into it that the Yakuza franchise, based on name, would be the one that's like the most wholesome franchise I play on this channel? <laughs> Yo. Aika? That's the best smile I've seen on you yet, girl. You think? It's just nice people finding themselves and enjoying themselves, and and becoming better people, and growing. <laughs> and it's like been a recurring, obviously the criminal element still shows up and everything, but like, they're, this, the, the, the most wholesome storylines on this goddamn channel are all in this franchise, aren't they? <laughs> I have 50 million! What do I even do with this money? Like, I... <laughs> in Yakuza 1, you could, you spent money to make, level up your character. Now I'm like, what do I do with the money? What does the money do, actually? It was mainly used... I mean, I could use it to invest in getting more employees for these places. I guess I'll be- I'll have plenty of backlogged money to... just maximize how many people I can hire for my, the Majima campaign if I want. But other than that, I'm like, what do I do with money in this game? Like... What do you spend it on? Uh. Good to see you, Kiryu-san. Are you busy? Hmm? Why do you ask? I want to grab a bite with you again. Hmm. Another invitation. What should I say? Sure. Sounds good. Let's eat. Yay, yay, yay!
I'm wondering if I'm gonna also do the entire Majima campaign. <laughs> I want to see more Majima cutscenes, and that promises that. So that's probably enough reason to do it. You've been with Forshine for a while now, Yua. How are you finding it? Oh, it's great. I'm having so much fun. And customers are starting to ask for me specifically now, too. It's a great feeling. Glad to hear it. Let's hope you can keep the momentum rolling. Agreed. Now I'm ready to eat. お客さんってアグレッシブな人が多いんですかね。どうかしたのか。前の店の時よりも積極的な方が多くって。この前も何もない日にプレゼントくれたりとか。ほう。だがそのくらい他の店でもありそうだ。それがそのプレゼント。They must, yeah, they must really adore you, apparently. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, we've been at the Millionaire Club lately. My last run gave me 13 million yen. It's absurd. They're just incredibly rich. Give it back to him, let's sell it. プレゼントなんてなかなかできるもんじゃない。それだけ優愛は愛されてるってことさ。そうですね。あ、もちろん車はお返ししましたけどね。でも嬉しいけど悪いなって気もしちゃって。こんなことまでしなくても愛は伝わってるのにって。ならそれを言ってやればいいさ。客からの気持ちが一番嬉しいのと同じように、ユアからの気持ちが客も一番嬉しいはずさ。キリンさん、確かにそうですね。ユア感
間違えるうん桐生さんも最初は桐生さんだと思ってたし蒼天堀も「青天堀」って読んでたし言うわ You're kinda dumb, huh? <laughs> そんなところも含めてお前の魅力だと思うぜドジっ子が好きな男も多いからな桐生さんありがとうございますでも人によっては失礼に思う人もいると思うしミスは減らしていきたいなあ,あユアが気になるなら。勉強してみてもいいかもな。手伝うぜ。本当ですか？じゃあその時は家庭教師お願いしますね。うん？あれあれあれ。どうかしたのか。早速ですけど、この漢字読めないな。<笑>仕方ないな、ユアは。どれ？俺が教えてやろううわありがとうございますこれなんですけどここの文字かうんお寿司屋さんって難しい漢字が多くって言わってダメな子だなこの文字はですかああ魚は難しい感じが多いからな俺も分からないものは多いぜそっかならよかった桐生さんが読めないならヨアも読めなくていいやおいおいこんなことでいちいち落ち込まないようにしよう、はあ、まあそれくらいの気持ちでも。いいかもしれないかな Normal Aw I thought I got hearts every time I think you get a different amount of meter for different answers I think there's two right answers sometimes one of them is more right or something Well we've been here for a while now We should probably take off Agreed Thanks Kiryu-san That was fun Let's do this again sometime, yeah? Sounds good. See you later, Yua. Bye bye! Didn't I fill up the meter all the way up to the final little bar? And there was just a little last segment that was empty? Isn't, isn't nice higher than normal, but then perfect is higher than nice? Do all three of those rankings make up a difference of like the last 5% of the meter or something? I'm a little confused. I'm like, how... How many different ranks are jammed into the very end of the meter? And is the entire meter up till that just a, a different ranking? Kiryu-san! Kiryu-san, are you free right now? Mm. Mm, what's going on? Oh, do you remember the panties thief I told you about before? Oh no. Did they get your panties again, Koyuki? No, my grandmother's. Oh yeah. I seem to have trouble remembering that part. <laughs> Well, that's not my fault. Anyway, has there been an update? Hi. Not really, but I just can't shake it from my mind. And the more I think about it, the more I want justice. You're really that fired up about it. Yes. Yuki-san lives nearby too, you know. What if she's the next victim? Panty thieves are the enemy. And if Yuki-san's panties are at risk, I can't rest. Man, this thief made a huge mistake targeting someone so passionate about panties. He sure did. I've given it some thought, and I think I've devised a way to catch this pervert. Is it a stakeout? Because that's the first thing I thought of. I'm ready to turn words into action, and I'd feel much safer if you were with me, Kiryu-san. Will you help me? I guess so. I really don't want this to blow up any bigger than it's already gotten. You're the best, Kiryu-san. Are you ready for war? E e yeah. Where are we going? To war. Panty war. 
Isn't that just Senna and Kagura? Isn't that that franchise? This is the place, Kiryu-san. You live right here? I've had so many fights right in front of your house. Wait, what? I thought you were going to lead me to the culprit or something. What's your plan? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I was thinking that the thief would definitely target cute panties. Like the ones I wear. So I'm going to lure out the thief with a panty snare. And then when he appears, I want you to jump out and catch him. What's wrong, Kiryu-san? Koyuki, is that really the best plan you could come up with? Hey. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? I think we should call it Operation Panty Bait. Operation Panty Bait. I love that quest prompts are a joke in themselves. I think one of the best ones is when they delayed the quest prompt all the way up until the moment of the of the weird baby fetish reveal, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, listen, Koyuki. I don't think any thief in his right mind would steal underwear off a bench. What? You don't think so? Right. It's not exactly the natural environment for panties, you know? Oh, don't worry about that. I've got a fresh pair that any thief would find irresistible. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> Ta-da! See? Aren't they the cutest? Koyuki, those are... Nobody's going to steal those, ever. Huh? Why not? You don't think they're cute enough? They look like a diaper. <laughs> Here, you son, I don't think you really know how a penny thief thinks. I'm glad I don't, actually. Besides, does that mean you really wear panties like this? What? No way! I would wear panties like this. I'm an adult. What? Then what? Even in your own logic, this is a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, let's not argue. The odds are in our favor here, and I say we give it a shot. Fine. What in the world? This is never going to work in a hundred- Shh. The thief approaches, Kiryu-san. Really? Who would not be like, what the fuck? Does it have, like, a needle in it? Like, what? <laughs> what is wrong with the... There's gotta be something wrong with this vision. What state are they in? It's, ah. Pretty suspicious. What a hand gesture. <laughs> he picked it up like it was in the sacred shine. I picked the panties up, Kiryu-san. What do we do? T tell me it cuts back to him, like, throwing them away. Wait and see. Yeah. No, I don't think he's our man. Hi. Okay. Then he puts them back down. That was weird. Why did you pick them up and then just put them back down? I thought he was going to throw them away. That'd be the funny thing. You're right, it couldn't be him. Now you've touched weird panties, dude. You're going to go wash your hands? You have no idea what this- I wouldn't- who would trust city- city clothes? Just abandoned. Oh look, another guy. Really? That's a costume. Are you a Jet Set Radio character? Pretty suspicious. He picked the panties up, Kiryu-san. What do we do? We always wait and see. Yeah. This isn't the right guy. Hi. Okay. Why do people keep picking up the panties? Also, everyone keeps turning around the moment they hit. It's really... 
in this particular case, it's funny because like everyone's abandoning the weird panty man, but it's just that that thing where the crowd audio, the crowd AI will just turn around when it enters a quest area, so it doesn't walk through the middle of the scene. It's like they're they're being polite about the fact that we're filming a scene here. You're right, it couldn't be him. Is it gonna be rule of threes? Oh look, another guy. I really didn't expect this to work as well as it is. Pretty suspicious. They have a gesture like they're gonna pick up like the chopping block that they use to cut fingers off in the Yakuza. Like, oh, I picked the panties up, Kiryu son. What do we do? Wait and see. I don't think this is the thief. Okay. There it goes. God damn, there's a lot of, there's a lot of not thieves. But they all touch it. Why do they always touch him? You're right, it couldn't be him. This is going way longer than I thought it would. Oh look, another guy! How many times? It is I, businessman! Pretty suspicious, he says identically every time. No, don't do it, sir. Sir, no. You got panties on your suit now. Ah! He picked the panties up, Kiryu-san! What do we do? How are you identically excited every time? Yeah. That couldn't be the thief, right? Hi. Okay. What do you- Uh. 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 Oh my god, he's rubbing his face in them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's really going for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's, his skin's gonna come off. <laughs> I can't watch those poor cute panties. N no way. What the? Please stop. Ugh. I've gotta stop this. Boy. Hey, that's not something you do in public, panty thief. <laughs> what do you mean? You must be the panty thief causing all the commotion in town. What? No. These pennies just flew into my face. It was the wind. You think I'm gonna believe that? No, you've got the wrong idea. H how did these pennies end up in my hands? I thought he was gonna have a quirky explanation, but no, he's just trying to pretend that he fell into the panties. Wait, isn't that Koyuki-chan? What's she doing here? Why do you know her? I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna know who she is. Here you have- we've had a lot of customers. Ah, it's him! You know this guy, Koyuki? Hi. Y yeah, he's a Forshine customer. Oh, is he now? You remember me, Koyuki-chan? Wow, what an honor. Of course. We had to ban you after you kept being inappropriate. Kiryu, you don't remember that? I'm getting the picture now. You caused trouble for Kuyuki in and out of the club. Shut up. What's your deal anyway? I'm the new manager at Forshine, and I heard about some panty problems you're you're the cause of. Forshine has a new manager? Uh. Yeah. And honestly, I'm shocked you fell for this. I did find it a little suspicious, but the siren song of the panties called out to me, and then... Here you, son. Not even I expected the culprit to be this perverted. <laughs> but now that you know, I'll just have to make sure you can't snitch. That's not how... Goyuki, stand back. Uh, okay. I won't let you interfere with my pursuit of panties. <laughs> what are you? 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 Anyway, there's only one correct answer here. You're all washed up. 
I cleaned up the panty thief's operation. Oh shit, he got back out. God, spare my life, he says after all I did was throw him in the water. <laughs> Maybe he can't swim. Although then, how's he alive? Unless you want to repeat of this, you better never get up to anything this stupid again. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be better about it. Better about it? Uh, just give back the panties you stole. Okay. What a jerk. Stealing my poor old granny's panties like that. Wait, what? I love that that's been a Chekhov's gun, that they've been waiting to, put to blow this entire time. You've made an old lady very sad about her underwear, is all I'm saying. Th then, those panties weren't yours, Kyuki-chan? Haven't you heard a word I've said? They're my grandmother's. Is that her grandmother? <laughs> oh, Koyuki-chan, fancy running into you on this footpath. Ah, Grandma! You're just in time to see us get back those panties you had, you, you had stolen. Oh, am I? That's wonderful. But oh my, does this mean that this is the culprit? They're gonna, is there, are they gonna think it's Kiryu? But you stole some panties I've had for years, Sonny. You're not into more mature ladies, are you? I gotta say, from this reverse camera angle, she looks like she's like 30. <laughs> she doesn't look like an old woman at all. She just has dark, like gray hair. But she's like, from this angle, she's in excellent shape and her skin's completely like baby smooth. It's like weird. All right, well, he's out. Wait, do we not get to see, do we never see her front? Girl, I think I can make one of- I think I can make the girls dress up like that at the club. <laughs> and they would- you wouldn't be able to tell which one was the granny. Here you, son. Thank you so much for helping me today. Uh. Sure. I'm just in- I'm still in disbelief we actually caught the guy like that. <laughs> Does that mean you'll have more faith in me now? <laughs> I suppose I will. But... I didn't know I'd be putting in you- you in danger, Kiryu, son. I'm so sorry. Nah, that was really nothing. I'm just glad you aren't hurt. If anything had happened to you, I'd... Hear you, son. Koyuki. Um... Th thank you so much. I'm really happy. So... We should get back to work. Hmm? Oh, yeah. They're still turning around every time they get down here. Hmm? Koyuki forgot her panty bait. That thief was really into this. Face plant panties! <laughs> Throw the panties. Kiryu, come on. Come on, Kiryu. I know we've done so many things with you with like the phone booth and everything, but Jesus Christ. It's hard to imagine how people really get into these things like this. Uh, I meant throw them into the garbage, Kiryu, but that was a dramatic camera angle. Um, Kiryu-san, you okay? Oh! You didn't even throw them very far. What a confusing outcome. <laughs> Uh, who leaves panties just lying around like that? Oh, me. It was me. Koyuki, your... Those panties... You really do wear. What? Kiryu-san, you looked? What a pervert, Kiryu-san. Etchy, sketchy, no touchy. I swear to God. Eh. Uh. I kind of resent the implication of the music being like, Oh my god, are they hitting it off? Because I'm like, no, she's like a child. Which is even acknowledged in the dialogue. Like, she does weird catchphrase bullshit. She wears, like, children's underwear. And they even said, like, I'm an adult, Kiryu-san. He's like, I'm not so sure. I'm like, I don't like, I don't like how in the same scene they're, like, hinting that they're hitting it off at all with that music. Because I'm like, no. No, 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 no. 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 I wonder if Shoko got that special award. I'm sure the competition was fierce, but I hope she did.
Hmm? What's all the ruckus? Judge's Choice Award, Shoko. <laughs> huh. You did great, Shoko. Oh yeah, that didn't actually complete before. They they were waiting for the, the follow-up to happen. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two completion awards. Yeah, back to back. We're getting there. Your quest is done, your quest is done, your quest is done. Yeah, it's just the new girl. The one that was introduced at the very, very end. Yuki you cannot talk to. And I've taken her on a lot of the runs already, and she just doesn't go anywhere. I guess this entire thing is her quest, come to think of it. And yeah, her going back into her costume and everything, and getting back in the act of things is like her... That's like her arc, I suppose? So I guess that's that's already accounted for. So many of these things are already done, aren't they? Lotus, Golden Wall. Press and hold R1. That's block blades and bullets. Yeah. That's a that's a no bra uh, brainer. Boost combo speed, slightly increases attack speed. Shit! Wow, I need to get a lot more blue somehow. <laughs> I get a lot of these things. Heavy attack max. I still got a lot of these left. I think I finished the entire. Yeah. Ooh, there's some mystery ones. Cali sticks. So I probably need to watch some videos. Oh yeah, technique primer, technique primer, technique primer. Must limit break stats and satisfy proper conditions. It's like an end game one. This one's a video I haven't watched apparently. And maybe don't know about yet. But then these two are just allies. So I must already have every ally. The other ones don't say anything about allies. But I have every life skill. Battle skills, there's still some left. So I gotta save up a few thousand for that. Oh yeah. Oh, these require stats. It, oh, I didn't realize. I don't know if I realized that before. So you, the, one of the incentives to max out your stats is that some of these require you to have certain stats. Let's see if I can find that again, real quick. Yeah. Oh, this is unlocked after, after learning health limit two. That's how some of these were being gated. Okay. See, so yeah, people were saying to prioritize skills over stats, which is partly true, but you need to you need stats to get some of the skills. So I've been probably passively unlocking some of these. Not via story progress, but but via getting the uh, the limit breaks unlocked, which I think, yeah. He, no, I, I can still. Yeah, that one's done. Attacks the one that's maxed out. Yeah, you can see that the the green triangle goes, uh, the green diamond goes all the way to the the outside of the border on the far right of the screen, which shows that it's already completely maxed out. It's just that your bonuses from your equipment can go even further. Yeah. So they max out at 200. Is the cap. Alright. There's still plenty of- there's still plenty to pour my stats into. <laughs> I've leveled so much, but this game finds things for you to put your points into.